Okay, so now we've got an image linked into InDesign. You know, it's linked nice and clean. We know the resolution is going to be fine here. We just want to look at how we can control this frame. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, everything in InDesign is placed within a frame, whether it's an image, whether it's text, or whether it's just a, a square box, it's still within a frame. Okay, and we've got two different selection tools here in InDesign, which can be a bit confusing at first, but I'll just try and explain a little bit about them. We've got the main one here is this main selection tool, the black one, which is one we're going to be using most of the time, certainly initially, but it's, it's the one that you can do the majority of things with in InDesign. So I choose this selection tool and this is the one where I can basically what I'm doing here is grabbing both the image and the frame at the same time okay so I'm picking the image it's moving them both now if I just grab the corner here and pull this down all I'm doing is changing the shape of the frame okay and you see the image is staying the same now if I choose the direct selection tool and roll over here and I pull the image, you can see what I'm actually doing is moving the frame and not the image. Okay, so basically the direct selection tool will just grab the image and not the frame, and the main selection tool will grab the frame to resize it, but will also pick up both the image and the frame. So we do use the direct selection tool a lot more later on. We'll start to edit the shape of frames with anchor points and things, but for this purpose, we can kind of stick to our main selection tool here. And what we've also got, I mean, to move the image inside the frame, I choose my direct selection tool. And if we are changing between the selection tools, it's just a good idea just to click off in some blank space before you change it. But with my main selection tool, so I'm moving this around here. When I roll over the middle of the image, you can see I've got this little hot spot, so basically it turns into a hand. Okay, so I've not changed tools, but I can actually move the image around there. So essentially, temporarily, when I use my main selection tool and roll over the middle of the image, it temporarily turns it into the direct selection tool, so I can move the image around like that. Okay, so I can resize the frame here. Now again, because my frame is kind of hiding parts of the image, Okay, you can see it sort of ghosts there if you hold down the mouse. Now if I want to actually fill the image proportionally inside that frame, that's where I can start to look at my control bar up here. Okay, I've got this little section. See, this control bar is broken up into little sections here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got these buttons. So I've got one that says fill frame proportionally. If I click on that one, you can see it just fills it proportionally. So if I reduce that frame, click on that button, it fits it for me quite nicely. Okay, I can click on the hot spot and resize the image independently. Okay, but a good idea is just to click on that button, fill frame proportionally, put everything nice and fitting in there. Okay, so one thing that we do want to do when we've got an image in a frame is obviously what I'm not done at the minute is resize them both at the same time. So we do have down here a scale tool. If I click on that, I can scale the image holding down shift, keep it proportion as well. Now, a better tool, if I hold down, there we've got a free transform tool. Okay, so if I change to the free transform tool, when I grab the corner, you can see when I drag the image, it resizes the frame and the image together. Again, it's all going to be out of proportion, so if I hold down my shift key on the keyboard, that keeps it in proportion for me. But generally, anything in InDesign, when we're resizing or putting right, if you hold down shift, it will stop you dragging things out of proportion. <clears throat> okay, so all I've changed is from my main selection tool, I've come down here to my free transform tool. But, I'll give you another nifty shortcut, we can do all of this without actually moving from our main selection tool. So I'm back to my main selection tool, which I know changes the frame on its own. But if I just hold down control on my keyboard and drag, it'll resize them both together. But again, it distorts it. But if I press control and I press shift, and then I grab the corner, 
I'm scaling the image and the frame together. And again, we're just keeping a close eye on this effective pixels per inch look. So if we make the image too big, we can start to lose the quality. So again, I'm not changing from a main selection tool, I'm pressing Control and I'm pressing Shift and I'm pulling down. Control, again, if we're using a Mac, it's Command, not Control. It's the only difference in this software between a PC and a Mac is everything when I say Control, I mean Command or vice versa, but essentially it's exactly the same. So Control and Shift, or Scale and Move. And we could also, with this main selection tool, I'm going to roll over the corner. If I go a little bit further, it turns into these two arrows here and I can rotate as well. So all of this is from a main selection tool. We do loads from it. We can scale, we can rotate, we can change the image size, we can change the frame size. Okay, and again, when I'm rotating like this, if I hold down shift, it will snap to 45 degree angles as well. So the shift key is really useful for us for rotating and scaling. Okay, so in the right position now, let's shift and rotate. Okay, so generally with an image, it puts it in a frame for us and using the main selection tool, we can do an awful lot to manipulate it, resize it and rotate it.